If you've ever been curious about airplanes, then you are in the right place. Today's Pioware build will let you personally collect data on the exact whereabouts of airplanes up to 400 kilometers away from you, updating up to four times a minute. Be it passenger planes, cargo aircraft, single prop Cessnas, helicopters, and even on occasion military planes, you're going to know their exact details and their flight history. Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics, and today we are tracking airplanes, all thanks to the Raspberry Pi and the Flight Aware Pro Stick. Pioware works worldwide, runs at low power, and receives real-time, minute-to-minute data directly from airplanes high up in the sky. With Pioware, we can tap into the information transmitted by ADS-B transponders installed on almost all aircraft as they fly overhead. This automatic dependent surveillance broadcast is a technology that enables aircraft to determine their position by a satellite and then transmit it. Effectively, all aircraft are legally required to do this. This has resulted in an enormous amount of these signals. This information, which gets shouted out into the magnetic spectrum, can be received by airport ground stations. This effectively is how airports keep track of aircraft around them. With Flight Aware, you build and run your own ground station, tapping into these ADS-B signals. You will have full access to the world airplane location data, and even better, a whole bunch more features for free. An enterprise-level account. In return for contributing to the larger picture with your PiAware node, you will even be able to access historical data on what all the planes have done. It is incredible. And Flight Aware, as of 2023, has over 35,000 unique nodes around the globe. So a lot of people are jumping in to help. Big shout out goes to Flight Aware HQ, based in Houston, Texas, for making all of this possible. They are some proper clever clogs. On the table before me is everything you need for today's electronic recipe. The Flight Aware Pro USB stick, a 1090 megahertz SMA antenna, and a Raspberry Pi single board computer. You're also going to need a micro SD card, 16 gigabytes or larger, a Pi power supply, a micro HDMI to HDMI cord, an ethernet cord, and a desktop computer, which has a mouse and keyboard. Start by jumping onto your desktop and inserting that micro SD card into it. Open up the Raspberry Pi Flasher program. Installation link found in the description below. Now flash your system with the most recent Pioware image. The download link for this in the description as well. Unzip that file and select it as the operating system inside Imager. Then select your micro SD as the storage and click right. With that flash fully baked in, insert that micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Now, take your flight aware stick and screw it into the antenna connectors with your fingers. Once seated properly, it will not screw in any further. With that complete, insert the flight aware dongle into a USB port of the Pi. Make sure that this antenna connection is fully seated by screwing it in like so. Then add HDMI out to a monitor. Connect your Pi to a network. Today I'm using an ethernet cable. You could do this through Wi-Fi, check the full article, but this method is much easier. Then power up the Raspberry Pi system by plugging in a USB-C connector. And rejoice, we have completed the Pi-Aware hardware setup. As soon as you power the Pi, you're going to be welcomed by the Pi-Aware flash screen on your monitor, and then it's going to display a very similar page to this. The only important piece to write down is the IP address which your router has provided to the PiAware system. This is the number here. Yours will probably be different. With that number found, we no longer require the HDMI connection to our system. Regarding antenna mounting, the most optimal installations are outside and high up, like on a roof. Doing so will then provide an effective range of over 400 kilometers. ADS-B signals do not like to travel through buildings, so make sure to set it up outside. Jump into the Flight Aware account making website by clicking on the link down in the description. Fill out the form and create a new account. You will need to confirm it by verifying your email too. Now type and enter the IP address of your PiAware station into the URL of your browser. We have now accessed the central PiAware website 
or our system. On screen now is our checklist. The goal here is to turn these four colored tiles green. The 1090 radio column is going to turn green automatically once it receives some data from an airplane. That took my system here less than one minute. The next step is to click on the button that states claim this feeder to associate it with your FlightAware account. Doing so should take you straight to a success page, which looks like this. Once you see that, know that you're very close to completing the entire setup. Now click on that website link found inside the view your ADS-B statistics section. This will take you straight to your personal data website. Here you can check out all your personally gathered data and more from any internet connected device. The final step is to fix the MLAT setting so it turns green as well. MLAT stands for multilateration. The MLAT system calculates the position of the aircraft. For our system to work well with MLAT, we need to provide it with an accurate GPS location. Press the cog symbol found in our personal website to start this process. Fill out this setting menu appropriately for your location. Note that you will need to click and drag the pin symbol to move it. With that complete, your PiOS status webpage will look like this. After five minutes, MLAT will turn green as well. With that, all software settings for your PiOS are sorted. So let us check what we can identify using our PiOS system here. The very first plane that my system identified was a Piper PA-31 Navajo with tail markings VH-XGW. And it was on the flight AE-866. This particular plane is going from Tamworth to Newcastle. And just check out all this historical and trip data I can glean using Flight Aware. I even have a photograph of the exact airplane. It's amazing. We can even expand our view to include everyone else's data using the freely accessible Flight Aware map and can clearly see that there is a huge amount of airplanes flying around our world at any instant. And we can hit up our personal SkyAware map. This is a web portal for viewing flights on a map that only your receiver is picking up. You can see some pretty proper amazing things with Flight Aware. For instance, the next time you're on a commercial airplane and you feel some weird flight paths being taken, check your airplane's history in Flight Aware. You might just be part of some sky art without even knowing it. Furthermore, if you're in a situation where you own an airplane, FlightAware can help you immensely. From tax management purposes, replacing or supporting your flight logs, providing history flight activities, and supplementing pre-buy inspections, this system can do it for you. FlightAware is also a really great place to check out some very cool pictures of airplanes. Just check out their photo galleries, which I've linked down below. Growing up, I had mates who could tell me exactly what the plane was in the sky just by the noise. I'm happy to say that I can now tell them exactly what airplane exists over the horizon. And that's that. Stay cozy.